Hey my pretties, it's the Queen of Lights here. Today for episode 164, I'm going to be be doing another um, series of films for Shadows and Pretties. Now I know I did the Mummy movies as well as the Scorpion King movie, but like I'm going to say before, I don't plan to do the other Scorpion King movies because they're not as good as the original movies, so I want to make that clear. So today for the next movie series I'm going to do is the Twilight Saga series. Which includes um, Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and the two parts of Breaking Dawn. So, yeah, today I'm going to be talking about the Twilight um, movie movie I'm going to do. It is based on the book by Stephanie Mayer. Yeah, yeah, by Stephanie Mayer. Um, yeah, she wrote the Twilight Saga series. So, this movie came out in 2008, which is, like, over 10 years old. <laughs> I mean, can you believe it? Like, wow. This one stars Christian Stewart as Bella, um, Robert Pattinson as Edward, and it also stars, um, yeah, a lot of other um, people who also did it, did the movie now. Can't really say which ones I've done too much because I haven't seen the movie in a long time. So my memory is very fuzzy when it comes to this movie because, yeah, I haven't read the book in like years, though. I mean, I read the series when I was in elementary school. It's still a pretty good, pretty good book series. I haven't watched it in quite some time. So anyways, with that being said, I mean... If I mispronounce something or if I say something wrong or, you know, inaccurate to the movie, uh, feel free to correct me in the comments below because I'd like to hear what you guys think about it. So, so yeah. Now, anyways, I guess with that being said, um, there are, so the original Twilight, like, book, novel that, it came out in 2005, and the New Moon one came out in 2006, as well as Eclipse in 2007. Breaking Dawn came out in 2008. Now, I'm just talking about the books. I'll be getting to the first movie in a bit. Of course, The Life and Dead Twilight Reimagined is a 2015 book, which I've not read yet, but I do have plans to do so. As well as Midnight Sun, which I've not... um read those book series yet, so. <sighs> yeah, I'm sorry. My mind is just very fuzzy when I actually look at this movie. So, this movie talks about a 17-year-old girl named Bella Swan, or Isabella Love, leaves Phoenix, Arizona, and moves to Forks, which is a small town located in Washington State, Olympic, um, Pensula to live with her father, Charlie, the town's police chief. Her mother, Rene, is remarried to Phil, a minor league baseball player whose career often keeps them on the road. So Bella becomes reacquainted with Jacob Black, who is a Native American teen who lives with his father, Billy, on the Quilly Indian Reservation near Forks. She makes friends with a new high at her new high school but finds the mysterious and aloof Cullen, Lynn's siblings, particularly intriguing. Bella eventually gets seated next to Edward Cullen in biology class on her first day, but seems repulsed by her. After a week's absence from school, Edward returns and socializes normally with Bella. Eventually, a few days, she is nearly struck by a skidding van at the school parking lot, of course, Edward instantaneously covers the distance over by 30 feet, putting himself between Bella and the van, stopping it with only his hand. He subsequently refuses to explain his actions to her, warning her against befriending him. Jacob tells Bella about a long-standing amnesty between the Collins and the Quillettes, and says that the Collins are not allowed on the reservation. So, I mean, this is basically a Twilight love story. But, you know, in the book, it's just a little bit different. I mean, there's a couple differences, which I'll talk about the 
um, novel of the book uh, a bit after after I go for the movie. Because mainly, I want to, you know, refresh people's memories if they haven't seen the movie in a long time. And for those who haven't watched the movie in forever. So after much research, Bella then concludes that Edward has a mysterious powers that resemble a vampire's. He eventually confirms this, but says that he and the other Collins only consume animal blood. Eventually, Edward and Bella falls in love, and he then introduces Bella to his vampire family. Carlisle Cullen, the family's period, Petri, oh my god, I'm very sorry, I can't pronounce certain words correctly. It's been forever since I've watched this movie. Is a doctor at the Forks Hospital. Esme is Carlisle's wife and is the family's monarch. Alice, Jasper, Emmett, and Rosalie are their informally adopted children, and the family's reaction to Bella is mixed, concerned that the family's secret could be exposed. So Edward and Bella's relationship is, gets jeopardized when free nominated to give vampires such as James, Victoria, and Londrent arrive in the Forks area and are only responsible for a series of deaths being investigated by animal, as animal attacks. James, who is a tracker vampire with an incredible hunting instincts, is exceeded by Bella's scent and becomes obsessed with hunting her for sport. Edward and the other Collins protect Bella, but when James tracks her down to Phoenix, where she is hiding with Jasper and Alice. Eventually, James lures Bella into a trap at the old ballet studio. He attacks her and affecting her with the vampire venom. Eventually, Edward arrives and after a ferocious battle, subdues James just as the other Cullens arrive. Alice, Emmett, and Jasper kill James by decapitating his head and burning him, while Edward removes the venom from Bella's wrist, preventing her from becoming a vampire. In the aftermath, she suffered a broken leg and is hospitalized, but upon returning to Forks, Edward accompanies Bella to high school prom, where she he refuses her request to transform her into a vampire, they are unaware that James's mate, also known as, well, girlfriend, Victoria, is secretly watching them, plotting their revenge for her lover's death, and thus how the movie ends. I really like the whole movie itself, because although I haven't watched the movies in a long time, but Stephanie Meyer's paranormal romance novel Twilight was originally optioned by Paramount Pictures and MTV Films, in April of 2006. The development of the film adaptation began sometime in 2007, which of course they had to write a script in mid of 2007. Eventually, they developed an outline at the end of August and collaborated with the Hardwickle from the writing the screenplay during the following month. So eventually, the filming took place around that time. I'm, I guess... They had to do some casting and the film productions. Now, eventually, everything was, some things were completed by May 2nd of 2008. And eventually, the film was released in Feeders and it became the film's fifth overall Fandango's goes list of top advanced ticket sales. Now, the sequel during the following year, which was called New Moon, Moon at the following year as well. It did pretty good as well. So, I could definitely, finally say this right now that I actually have this movie on DVD. I mean, I haven't watched the movie in like a really long time. And I think this is going to actually make me want to watch the second movie again. So, basically, um, the, the, uh, the story, like the book is basically almost pretty much the same, um, except there are a few, um, a few differences in there that I do note. The eventually, everything goes well, eventually, when Bella meets Jacob, who is a local boy from the Quelle tribe, and learns that Edward and his family are vampires, pretty much the same thing. Now, eventually, Bella gets saved again from saved Edward again in Port Angeles when she gets attacked, almost gets attacked by a group of men, which is another part of the story that was not in the movie. It was like Bella almost gets attacked by men in the book, 
but it was not really added in the movie. So the movie did change a lot of things. So eventually, everyone else wanted to kill her on the first day of school. He tries to stay away from Bella to avoid hurting her. But over time, they eventually fall in love. Of course, James, who is the tracker vampire, who is intrigued by the Cullens' relationships with a human, wants to hunt Bella for sport. So eventually, later on in the book, we do see most of the... So basically, the book is basically pretty much the same as the movie, except the movie did some changes and stuff. So eventually, what is really, um, really something is in the book, you know how Bella breaks her leg when... Leg and all that. Well, in the book, it also states that they use the story that she fell off a window as an excuse to what James did to try to hurt her in many ways. So, of course, they take her to school prom, but of course, Bella doesn't want to miss any human experience because of him, says that she wants to become like him, a vampire. But of course, Edward hesitates, so he is against this. So, yeah, I mean, the book is pretty much the same plot of the as the movie, but the difference in that is, like, there are some things that the book did include and, and was not in the movie as well, which, I mean, it's kind of understandable because, you know, books and movies, they're pretty different, especially when it comes to certain things that they added in and, or what did and didn't make sense. I mean... When you read the book and even watch a movie, you'll actually get to know some differences. So, I will do um, New Moon in the next episode of Shadows and Pretties. I just don't know when that episode will come out. But I will do the rest of the Twilight Saga series because, you know, I've been kind of wanting to get to them for quite some time. Just haven't had the motivation or the time to get to them. But, yeah. I just thought I'd say, I'm going to get to this story today because why not? So... With that being the case, and with that being said, I mean, if you guys don't like Twilight, I respect your opinion, and if you like it, it's fine too. Like, I personally thought it was a really neat story. I like it. Like, I started liking the Twilight Saga series when I was, like, maybe 12, possibly 13 years old. I started getting into that series, and I haven't watched this series in a long time. People who like Twilight really hate Harry Potter. I mean, I'm not saying that to offend anyone in any way, shape, or form. I'm just saying that is a fact. As well as people who like Harry Potter don't like Twilight. Now, I personally was not a fan of Harry Potter. But I really prefer Twilight a lot more. But that's just my opinion. Like I said, it's just my personal opinion. You guys might have your own opinions. And if you don't like Twilight or if you like it, feel free to leave me your thoughts in the comments below. Because I like to hear what you guys think. So anyways, with that being said, I will do the other Twilight movies. I just need to try to find the time and the opportunity on when I will get to them. But like I said, I haven't watched any of the movies in a long time, as well as read any of the books in years. So my mind is pretty fuzzy when it comes to, to these series. So with that being the case and that being said, what did you guys think about this um, movie Twilight Saga? Well, not Saga, but the first Twilight movie. Do you like the movie? Do you like the book? Do you like them both? Did you not like any of them? What would you have done to make the book or movie a lot better? Feel free to state your own thoughts and opinions in the comments below. I like to hear what you personally think of this movie I'm, and even the book. I mean, I respect your opinion if you don't like it. And if you like it, that's pretty cool too. As I am all free to hear your own opinions and thoughts as long as you're respectful. That's all I ask is be respectful to people's opinions. So anyways, that being said, I'll be seeing, I'm the Queen of Lions. Thank you so much for watching today's um, episode. If you're new to this channel, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because I make brand new videos every single day. Also, don't forget to ring the notification bell to when I upload so that way you guys will not miss an upload. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next upload. Peace out.